Hello Eurovision friends, thank you so much for coming to my channel Eurovision Histories. Happy International Women's Day. Today I want to talk about the Greek entry for Eurovision 2024 and that is Marina Sati. You can see her there with the song Sari. And if you followed this channel, you know that I've been quite excited to hear this song because I think Marina Sati is one of the most interesting artists that were chosen for Eurovision. I listened to a few of her older songs and I really love her artistry and what she does in her music. So let's see whether I was underwhelmed or whether my expectations were met with this song. As always, I will be giving points from one to five to different aspects of the song and performance, or in this case, the video which is incredible, um, but I'll talk about that in a minute. And uh, then we'll have an overall rating as well. I will also make a prediction on how Greece will do in Eurovision, whether Marina Sati will be able to qualify and how she will do in the final if she does qualify. And I also have your votes and comments from the community tab of my channel. Thank you for that. And if you want to participate in that, you got to subscribe to the channel. Now, usually I start with the lyrics, but in this case, I will go from top to bottom and start with the song. I think this is a bit of a mess, but to me personally, and this is my personal subjective rating, it is a beautiful mess. <laughs> because, I mean, I understand that there are so many different elements to it and it's kind of frantic and crazy that a lot of people might not like this. But to me, putting all of these aspects together and making it into a song uh, just makes it a beautiful mess to me. There are so many different things like the beginning, um, which is almost an a cappella singing by her amazing vocals. And it sounds a bit like Bollywood to me. And then the beat comes in and there is a bit of a spoken word part. It kind of reminds me of Chalga, I think because of the instrumentation as well, like Balkan music. Of course, there are many traditional Greek elements in it, which always is a plus for me. Um, the flute especially that you have throughout the song, which is, I think, why many people don't like the song. But to me, it makes it special and it makes it stand out and it makes it, you know, kind of slap as a song and i love that and i think there's this moment in the video where the german tourist i think is in the car and he doesn't know what is happening to him and i think that's the experience she wants to give us with this song in a way and that's just cool i think this will be a song that some people love some people hate but personally i like it and i'll give it four and a half points i think this might grow on me it's sometimes a little too frantic. That's why half a point is missing. But I do think that this will be one of my favorites until the end. Now the video, I mean, for a minute, I thought, is she trolling Eurovision? Is she trolling us who are expecting a great song from her? Uh, but because it's so frantic, there's so much happening in this video, memes, uh, captions, crazy stuff. But I love that it's so crazy and so frantic and it's memes galore. I think we will have lots of memes coming from this video. But I think the main message of it, and I think there is a main message, is something else. And that is subverting a bit the image people have of Greece because she is a tourist guide in the video and she's kind of showing them around the Acropolis and all the things you have in your head when you think of sites in Greece. But at the beginning of the video, you have these families coming together, but you also have the personification of the tourist. And I guess it's a German tourist because he wears socks and his sandals, which I would never do. I don't even have sandals. But anyway, um, and he's kind of walking through Greece. He's always in the background with her um, while she is subverting these stereotypes because she is both the tourist guide that shows everyone the part of Greece everyone has in their head when they think of Greece, but she's also Marina Satis, the Greek modern person living there in the urban environment and kind of showing everyone that Greece is not just what you see. And I think that's quite genius because it is a tourist ad kind of this video. It makes you want to go to Greece without being a tourist ad because it's subverting everything. And I really do like that quite a lot. At the end, you have the message, um, I send you greetings from Greece, the home of philosophy, democracy, and a bunch of other long words, which kind of also underpins, I think, what the message of this video is. You see so many 
cool things that are part of these kinds of videos. It also is a bit reggaeton, the song, I forgot to say that. And the video kind of fits as a, that as well with the cars and the fire and everything going on. And yeah, for it being so subversive in a way, I am giving five points. And I also think that she's very charming. And that's what we're talking about now, the artist and the performance. It just seems very much like every song that she publishes and this one as well. She has full control. She has a vision of what she wants to do. She does her own thing and has an impressive artistry, urban artistry combined with traditional Greek elements. And that is amazing. And I also think she's a very charismatic person, a very charismatic performer and also incredibly professional. I saw a few concerts of hers. So I am absolutely sure that she will be able to translate this frantic crazy mess to the stage and actually sell it well. And that is why I'm giving five points to her as an artist as well. Now, when we talk about the voice, I've already said that there are many different parts to the song and there are also many different aspects and elements to the vocal performance. There's incredible variation. You have the beginning, which is almost a cappella. And um, I mean, if she can do this live, it will be a moment and something that makes you, you know, look up, even if you're looking at your phone after 24 songs and notice her. And that is important in Eurovision. And I think, I do think that she can do this. And then you have the spoken word part, you have the more poppy chant parts almost. It is, she knows how to sing, we know that. And it is an incredibly intriguing vocal performance because so much is also happening. I do recognize that there's a lot of uh, production on her voice and processing in some parts of the song. In some parts, I think it's almost 100% natural. So it will sound different on the stage, but I think I will actually like it more with less processing. So I'm kind of looking forward to the live performance. But because there is a bit of processing, it's uh, four and a half points, which is very good for the voice. Now for the lyrics, um, there's a reason I did it the other way around this time, because I'm a bit confused about what the lyrics are about, but maybe that's part of the intrigue and the messiness. Let's have a look at some parts of the lyrics. She sings, if only pain wouldn't come to us, I'm falling and rolling about like dice. I'm forgetting your name and everything's changing abruptly around me. So that makes me think that it might be about a relationship that isn't working anymore because she is forgetting the name of the other person. But it could also be about the anxieties of the world in general, because everything is changing around her. And then she continues, where's the wind going to take us? I'm falling and rolling about like dice. I'm forgetting your scent and everything's changing around me. Kind of the same message as in the first part. And then I'm going to do it my way and that's kind of also telling everyone i'm not going to fulfill the expectations you have of greek music or of the greek entry i'm going to do it my way so let's go on this uh, journey with me and yeah i love it <laughs> and then she continues even if i remain alone i'll always wait for you this is the, my favorite part of the lyrics i'm quaking like a flame like alcohol that's been set on fire. When dawn comes, sadness eats me from the inside. I'll die alone if you're somewhere else. This makes me think that it's more about a relationship. And I love the poetic lyrics in this part. And so in the end, I gave four out of five because it's a bit confusing still to me. If you have another interpretation of the lyrics, do let me know because as you know, I love lyrics and interpreting them, but here I was a bit of a loss for an interpretation, to be honest. Now, the song counts three times, the rest counts once, and that gives us very good four and a half points for Marina Sati and Sadi. As I said, this is my personal opinion. I do understand if people have a different opinion. Now, before I tell you my prediction for how Greece will do in Eurovision, do subscribe to this channel and then I won't have to remind you anymore to subscribe. We're very close to 7,000 subscribers. I cannot wait to spend the rest of the season with you. And thank you so much for your comments and for sharing in our love of Eurovision. Now, let's look at Greece and how I think their chances are to qualify, first of all. 
I always look at the last 10 years and the qualification rate of the country in the last 10 years. 70% of the time Greece managed to qualify in the last 10 years. They didn't qualify last year, so that's not correct. Sorry, <laughs> that information. But 70% um, is quite good. They used to have a 100% qualification rate and they are in semi-final two in the first half. I mean, this whole discussion about which semi-final is stronger, I kind of feel like the second semi-final is turning out to be stronger than the first, actually. Um, and I said this in a bunch of other videos. I think Malta, like Czechia, Albania and Denmark are already in trouble. And then Latvia and San Marino are kind of on the line of qualification. And Greece has some help from Albania, I think, will love this entry. I think Armenia will like this entry and Greek diaspora and lots of countries as well. And it is an outstanding entry in a way that it is very different from everything else. And there are lots of people who like these sounds and the Balkan sounds and the Greek sounds. And so I do think that this will be able to qualify. However, in the final, we will have the juries, which I think will not like this entry and will put it 15th to 25th. I think it kind of depends whether they will appreciate the vocal performance and give it some points because of that. But I think as a song, the juries, if they vote like they did in the last couple of years, they like mainstream pop songs, kind of formulaic, but good good for the charts. And this is just a song that is very out there. And so I can't see them giving this a lot of points, unfortunately, I have to say. However, the Televote will like this. I think she can sell it well. She has a lot of charisma. But there are also lots of other Televote-friendly songs that will be in this final. And so I think 7th to 15th is kind of what it will get in the final. I do think maybe a bit higher than 15th, actually. And that kind of makes me predict 13th to 17th. So here I'm trying to be more objective because if it was my choice, this would be in the top five or top 10. But um, yeah, I think people might be a bit taken aback by it. Now that is my prediction. However, before I let you go, I also have your votes and comments from the community tab of my channel. As you can see, it's kind of a mixed bag here. It's 26% love the entry and give it five stars, 24% four stars, 28% three stars, 13% two stars, and 9% one star. But as I always say in Eurovision, it's not important how many people hate your entry. It's important that enough people love your entry and I think to have around 50% with five or four stars is actually a good starting position for Greece at least in the Eurovision fandom or with my subscribers. Let's look at some of your comments. They will also show that this is an entry that some people love and other people not so much. So let's have a look. Stonebrook says I like that it is in Greek and that it shows off a more contemporary urban side of Greece and I am sure she will eat this up live but as of yet I am still undecided on the song itself three stars for now hoping it will grow on me because I really want to love this maybe my expectations were too high yeah my I was scared that this might happen because my expectations were sky high but she kind of met them it's not as amazing as I thought. I thought this might be the entry that would get five points for everything, but I do love it. And I also like that it shows a more urban side of Greece and, as I said, subverting a bit the expectations people have. Then Alter Ego says, I just love it. It's definitely in the same category of La Noia. That's something I also thought that might hurt this, that La Noia is kind of more digestible to a general audience, I think, and does a similar thing. Ethnic but contemporary, Alter Ego says, native language, catchy and unique. My only concern is that the vocals are quite plain. I don't, well, anyway, and very falsetto, head voice oriented, and I think this might affect the jury vote. Maybe you can elaborate on that because I don't know why the juries wouldn't like a head voice. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Ozzy Palhedin says, my head hurts listening to this song. So you have, I just love it and my head hurts. That shows you why I love Eurovision also, the very different reactions to the same song. Tolkirchenkin says, it sounds like an audiobook where the chapters are on shuffle. 
All right. Then Arian Anderson says, I'm happy that Greece are finally sending an ethno bop again and singing in their own language. There are elements of the song I really like, but overall it still needs to grow on me. Also, I struggle to envision how this will be on the Eurovision stage. Yeah, the staging for this will be, I never, I didn't talk about that, will be difficult, but I have faith in Madina Sati and her artistry that they will find a way to stage this well. And there was another thing I wanted to mention, yeah, their own language. I love the Greek language and it sounds, I love the sounds and I love the layer it adds to the song. And so I'm very happy that it is partly at least in Greek. Flixer2576 says, this is a female ethno bop done right. I am literally obsessed with the messy feel and the ethnic vibes. I love Marina and I think her attitude will sell this. The music video is actually genius as well. It's just a tourist ad with much meme ability. Yes, how to market a song right is just here agree with everything he said. Elmir Lane Nonen says it's decent, but I'm worried this will get lost in Semi 2's first half, where six out of seven so far announced artists are female pop songs. Worried for them all actually because I feel like they might cancel each other out if they cannot find much to stand out compared to each other. But anyway, good luck to Marina. Hopefully she finds her way to the final. I mean, they are female pop songs, but I, Denmark and this, for example, or Malta and this don't have that much in common, I don't think. And I think this actually stands out for the instrumentation and the messiness and the franticness of it all. So I'm not that worried for Greece in this way. I think the others will pale in comparison, actually. Then something somewhere maybe says, I appreciate the artistry and creativity that underpins the song and the authentic representation of Greek culture and modern culture. But the song itself lacks impact for me. It's a bit too chaotic for me to latch onto any particular part, but I'm still glad to see Greece sending a song with such strong character. I agree with that. Then Costa says, as a Greek, I can't say I'm satisfied. Well done. Unfortunately, Sadi feels too repetitive for my taste and it's neither catchy nor impactful enough to compensate for that. However, I appreciate the fact that after quite a while we send a song in our own language accompanied by traditional Greek instruments. Um, yeah, this shows you that my rating is very subjective because if I didn't like the song for reasons beyond logic maybe, I might have also said it's very repetitive, it's crazy, it's disjointed, but you know, that's part of why art is so interesting that something clicks and it makes you like everything, kind of. Frayoa Delgado says, wow, I am obsessed with it from the first listen and I'm sure it will only grow on me more with time. I love everything about it, especially the native language, the Eastern musical elements, agreed, and the playfulness of the music video, which will hopefully translate to the stage. Maybe they can bring the German tourists to stage with them. That would be quite fun, I think. Kuvatelia says, I adore how Greek it sounds. There's parts I love, but the song as a whole stays a little bit flat to me. And there was so much in the music video that I got a bit confused by. Um, yeah, when there was just Marina close up zooming out that I liked and got some feels from the song at that point. I agree. I think for the stage show, they should have more close ups of her because she is so charismatic and she can really sell the song. But I think the point of the video was kind of to be chaotic and that's what they wanted to do. Dominic Erk says, with all the good songs, I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Making a top 10 feels like a mental dance break. But isn't that a very good problem to have? Then Jusa says, I'm confused. I get that. I understand. And then Adam Eideman says, if I had to describe the song in one word, it would be messy. Right now, I don't know if it's the good kind of messy or the bad one. As I've said, for me, it's a beautiful mess, but I do understand if other people don't see it. And I am interested, Adam, if you have already taken a decision, whether it's a good mess or not. So good. That's a good comment, I think, to end the video with. Thank you so much for watching, for your comments, for your votes. Do subscribe. There will be more videos coming out very soon. And I'll see you then. See you then and bye bye.